can see by pressing one button, I can change one track or multiple tracks color very quickly and effectively. Hey, Nico here. Welcome to my tutorial on creating a macro to change the color of the tracks in Pro Tools. In this video, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of creating a macro in Keyboard Maestro to change the colors of one track or multiple tracks in Pro Tools. I'll be using an Elgato Stream Deck to trigger the macro. Whether you're a beginner or not, this will help you streamline your process and save time when you're working with Pro Tools. So let's get to it. Before I can start to make the macro, I have to figure out what the steps are that I'm trying to emulate. Let's open up Pro Tools and have a look. So we want to select a track. We want to open the color palette, select tracks, change the color. And the last thing is we want to close the color palette. Those are the steps we want to recreate using Keyboard Maestro. I have some other videos that I'll link here on setting up your Stream Deck with Pro Tools and Keyboard Maestro to create a few other macros. But for now, let's open up Keyboard Maestro and set up that macro. So in Keyboard Maestro, I'm going to create a new macro. Let's label it Change Track Color. We're going to add a new trigger and for the trigger, we're going to select USB device key trigger. We're going to press the button that we want to trigger the macro. I'm demonstrating this with one button, but I actually created the whole color palette in a similar order that it's set up in the actual color palette in Pro Tools. I'll have that Stream Deck template available in the description if you're interested. Next thing, we want to create the action select or show a menu item. We want to select Pro Tools window and go to color palette. The next action, we're gonna add a pause just to let it load. So let's do half a second. You can adjust that and play around with it. See what works best for you. The next action we want to use is move or click mouse. So make sure you have Pro Tools with the color palette open in the background so you can get that position when you press the get button. You press get, you go over the menu and you wait until the beep's over and now the location is saved in the action. Next, we want to use the action type the keystroke to make sure it selects the option track in the fold down menu. And once you press T, it's gonna go in that spot and you can press return to select it. So you can do an action, type a keystroke and press return. I'm gonna add another action pause to let it load. Then I'm gonna copy and paste the move and click action. I'm gonna get the actual color that I wanna trigger, go over the color. Once the location of the color is set, we want to close the color palette. And for that, I'll do the shortcut Control, Option, Command, and W. And that's all there is to this macro. So I repeated this process for all the keys with all these different colors, and I'm gonna show you how it works inside Pro Tools. Okay, so my Pro Tools session, I'm gonna select a track, press that pink button. Now the track changed pink. Let's change this one red. You can see you can select a group of tracks from here and they're all going to change to the same color. You can do the same thing if you're in the mix window, select tracks. Here I'm going to press the green and they're going to change to green. So I hope this was helpful. I actually made this video from a comment from another video. Someone is asking me how to make this specific macro. Feel free to ask me any questions. I'll have the Stream Deck templates and the keyboard maestro macros available for download in the description section. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.